feel if you feel a hernia? <laughs> These are kind of firm, and you can mm -hmm. feel the pull of the testicle. You saw when I took those out, right, how it was it was like a you know, the end of a finger kind of or yeah. something, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, intestine is a lot softer. It's a little, it's much, it's much harder to identify characteristics of it. Mm -hmm. So if there's, if you have a big scrotum or if you're like, are there three things in here? Or if there's any question, you know, certainly don't, don't do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and for these, we're going to take one, we're going to go directly into the testicle on one side. Mm -hmm. We'll give about half, we'll go directly in the testicle, give about half on the other side, and we'll leave just a little bit for the skin. Now, would the hernia be more calcified or like fluid? It's a really fluid feeling. It feels like a okay. soft water balloon. So what okay. are your friends asking you to do? All right, do you want to go first? Yeah. So you're going to hold the testicles with your hands right here. You'll pick okay. one, and I think horses we just need to keep it. Yeah. Just and then procedurally, I can put them on the ground. Really you can. I end up holding my hands open in my mouth. You can see the veins from the friggin' stand. Okay, so you're going to grab them. I'll have you do his right testicle. And you want to make sure you don't aim that needle where you can stab yourself in the finger. How and deep I should I go? Up, well, like pretty deep. I just go straight in from the pole. And okay. you have to kind of, um, a little bit, you have to kind of like, to get the needle to go into mm -hmm. that thick outer testicular tissue. Okay. And, you'll and he's out. He's not going to. Oh, he might, he might not like this a little bit. <laughs> but I, I got to like. Okay. Yeah. And Genevieve, that would not and be my choice of how to hold the needle. Yeah, okay, you're going to take your thumb off that, right? Okay. So let's right. hold the barrel to get it in, and then we're going to add our, thank you. Hold it. Okay. Yeah. I usually hold them like a dart. Okay. There you go. Now feel that testicle fill up and become very firm. It, it becomes um, yeah, quite yeah, tumescent. Wow. Yeah. And now you know that you're really forcing lidocaine in there and it's going to start traveling up the cord so that your surgical site, the whole thing, will be a little more anesthetized. All right, we'll do, do the other one. What does it cost for each of these units? These oh, I think it, it, the syringes? It just shot up. Like, yeah. Don't worry about it. Okay. okay. Cool, cool. Go ahead. We're going to have, um, let's have Natty do the next one. Um, the lidocaine is inexpensive, and the needles and syringes are also inexpensive. I'm using the same syringe, and I'm re reusing the needle. You are reusing. Using a new needle, same syringe. Correct. If I'm not drawing out that blood This is full. Thing. Okay, good. So I'm going to put a little in the scrotum, so that when we cut that scrotum off, it doesn't hurt. So, okay, just right here. So I end up just kind of holding it here, and I go and in. Don't still. have your fingers there. So look what's going to happen if you do that. You might hit your finger. Sure. But if you hold it out here, and you go in this way, okay. you're not going to hit your finger. Got it. There you go. Perfect. Let me spill that thing up a little bit. <laughs> we only have another 20 minutes. All um, right. Um, who's who wants to help with the castration on this one? I was like, <laughs> okay, for the goats, we're going to do tetanus antitoxin and um, banding. Okay. Right. Okay. So why do you have to cut it off? Can you like slide it? And take so it off. Uh, uh, you just to just bad goats. You you right. want to just, just cut it off so the testicles come out easily, so you're not. Cheap. You know, I don't want anything to go back in. Because the testicles are connected yeah. up into the gut. You can yeah. slice, uh, you can slice it, right. it because I see so some um, the on the pig they slice it the the inside. Oh, and uh, but they have a very different shape, don't they? And yeah. The pig is like the pig. The testicles are up inside. They're not not pedunculated like this at all. And so the you have gloves? Oh, uh, we were I was trying to get this time. Uh, uh, yes, if you guys are touching. Right. Can you are do a little to wash on his or uh, Maybe can you time. wash his testicles yeah, for these guys? Mm -hmm. Little on the other side. Dehorning them at oh, perfect. Dehorning them. Okay, so we're doing it at a month. Is there any. We would do it earlier. Is the stress? We were just dehorning them? Yeah. Oh, I go earlier. The, the best way to dehorn is to use paste. Okay, so best management practices for dehorning on the calves would have been when they were less than 24 hours old, we would have clipped the horn bud and we would have applied a highly caustic paste, which we actually have here. Um, the Dr. Naylor's paste. Do you paste. like that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. 24 hours. You don't? I, I've only ever seen, see, nobody calls me when this goes It well. is by far the best. <laughs> <laughs> it is by far the best way. The trick is you need to do it when they're less than 24 hours old because they start getting older and they, and they wake up. They're, they're more with it. I mean, think of how wobbled was when we brought him home, right? It took that calf three days to wake up. <laughs> um, but what happens is they, they start to be more aware of the pain and they'll rub it on themselves or they'll rub it on another calf.
Mm -hmm. And so first of all, they're rubbing it off so it's not working, mm -hmm. and then they're getting it, they're getting that caustic material on something. So you say you cut it, are you talking about the skin? Cuts, just no, just, just, just through, clip yep. the hair. Oh, okay. Just yeah. your fingers. Okay, no yeah. sawing, just group. Um, there you go. Mm -hmm. Now, right it's about a perfect. Oh, That's God, it. So Beautiful. Nice. I'll take so that. So this is by far, that is by far the best way to dehorn caps. Yeah. Unfortunately, by the time we get ours, they're yeah. too old to do it. Okay. So um, the next part is, what do we do next? What do we... Yeah, that. and what are we trying to do? What are we accomplishing when we do that? Um, just seeing the full. We're getting access to the cord that we're going to twist. Yep, we have to so remember George muscles. Costanza. Yes, right, we have to break right. down that cream master. Who muscle, is okay? George Costanza? Seinfeld. You remember the episode? <laughs> <laughs> you go to the. What is it? Go to the Hamptons. Sorry, I'm getting too to old. Like, <laughs> well, no one got to Suzanne Summers but me. <laughs> I got Suzanne Summers. I'm just too old. Am I getting too old? <laughs> she hosted Figure It Out on Nick. Remember, she had she had these things, things that you put between your legs so you and, and. Oh, I remember those. Yeah. As seen on TV. Yes, your mom. That's coming out. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to have you pull both of them out, and I'm going to have you twist both of them out. Yeah, right? yeah okay. I can't remember. It's been a long I'm time. Just try to um, push it out hard and grab it. Like a little sword there. Get some trouble. And you push up. Go like grab the cord. You almost push up with the with the scrotum. So you're just popping um, those out. Yes. We should probably block him yeah. and get going on him. So we need to clip his scrotum and clean his scrotum. So who would like to do that? Is there someone okay. that, there we go, would not like to do any of that, but want to okay, see my the, position with him? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. with him. Good. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Don't let anything go back in. Okay. Um, I will so we get the both of them nice and loose now. This might have a little bit more. There we go. <laughs> and then I tend to just hold them here, and then we'll attach yeah. this guy. And they actually have this that doesn't come on a drill, too. I'll show you when I'm done. Just put it right around that cord there. Um, the curvature should be the opposite way. Yeah, so, now we're talking. So, Jonas, instead of, we don't really want to flip oh, him here. onto his back. Yeah. That's really bad for him in terms of all of his 12 cc's. So Lily, little see how I'm sort of keeping his Good, now aim it now. Right. Pull your screen. And I'm holding there this like now. Yeah. Perfect. 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 Slowly. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. It's okay. The slower you go, sometimes you'll get it to elongate out, but this is for calves of this size, it's just not going to make that much difference. And once it starts to, see, do you feel that yeah. break? Now you can start going faster. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the girl. And I don't want to get you. You're taking away everything that makes you obnoxious. <laughs> My children actually asked me at one point, why haven't you castrated daddy yet? <laughs> like, when do we get done? I'm like, ah, oh, it doesn't really work that way with humans. You guys need to keep yours. For now. <laughs> we see your teenagers. Oh, shit. Be careful. You might take them away. Good. It felt a break. You can go for it. Okay, now we'll put a little um, alcohol in there. We'll get them cleaned up. It almost seemed like... Maybe that one was too low or something. <coughs> no, you can cut them open if you want. They, it's really hard to get them to break too low.